so today we will uh, focus on getting you all started with Alpaca. This means that we will have a very high level approach to some of the Alpaca concepts and just explain them from a very abstract point of view before we uh, try to uh, enable you to install Alpaca on your local systems. No, what do I have there? So Alpaca is short for Abstraction Library for Parallel Kernel Acceleration. And behind this title, there is already uh, a lot to explain. So Alpaca is first and foremost an abstraction, uh, a parallel programming library. Today's hardware is very heterogeneous. You know, and you typically, typically have a CPU available. You also have a GPU. And both hardware types uh, inherently have some parallelism available. However, in order to exploit this parallelism, you usually have to um, program in a special way. So you can't just write your normal C code and it will be parallel by default. You have to explicitly write parallel code. And this is what Alpaca will help you doing. Alpaca is also an abstraction library. As I said, you have CPUs and GPUs, and both hardware types usually require their own model of programming. For example, you have CUDA for NVIDIA GPUs, you have HIP for AMD GPUs, and none of them are compatible with uh, parallelism for CPUs. So on CPUs, you need a different approach altogether. Alpaca aims to abstract away these differences and give you, as the programmer, a unified API that you can use on both CPUs and GPUs. And last but not least, Alpaca is also free and open source software, which means you can view the source code at any time. You can adapt the source code to your needs and uh, just use Alpaca in the way you need it. You, you need to use it. Uh, programming with Alpaca will only happen in C++. So if you're here and looking for something to accelerate your Fortran code or your C code, Alpaca is probably the wrong tool, unfortunately. Alpaca is also a header-only library, which means that by using Alpaca, you introduce no additional runtime dependency to your code base. All the magic that Alpaca brings with it happens in the headers, and uh, you won't have to link to any library. Alpaca is also a very modern library. Currently, it is written entirely in C++14, and we are constantly working on uh, adapting it to newer C++ standards. Since it's modern, it also supports a wide range of modern C++ compilers, including the GNU compiler collection, LLVM, both standard LLVM and for Apple, Microsoft Visual Studio, and Intel, IBM, and many more. It's also portable across operating systems. We support Alpaca on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, and it may be even uh, run on FreeBSD or something, but we haven't tested that. So our today's uh, hardware landscape is quite heterogeneous. As I've said, you have CPUs available, you have GPUs available, and all of this makes the system layout quite complex. However, these different hardware platforms are not interoperable, which means that a program that you write, for example, a GPU, won't be easily portable to a CPU. It will require a lot of effort to port a CUDA program to a parallel CPU program, for example. With Alpaca, you have one API to rule them all. This means that you have a thin abstraction layer over the underlying hardware and software platforms. However, this doesn't mean that these uh, specifics of these platforms are hidden. So if you really require it, you can still access the details of uh, the hardware and software platforms like CUDA, as Alpaca has ways to expose them to you. But in the default case, your code will only need uh, minor adjustments to support different accelerators, which is the uh, main purpose of Alpaca. Alpaca has also already been tested in the wild. Uh, one prominent example is Picon GPU, which is a fully relativistic many core 3D, 3D particle and cell code. It uh, accelerates one of the central algorithms in plasma physics, and we've already tested it to run on more than 18,000 GPUs in parallel based on Alpaca. 
Like Alpaca, uh, Picon GPU is developed by the Helmholtz Centrum Dresden Rossendorf. It's also free and open source software. So if you're interested in this specific algorithm, you can uh, find the source code uh, on the link here. Alpaca is also free software. We've licensed it under the Mozilla public license. You can find us on GitHub. So, uh, we have an, a special development group set up on GitHub called the Alpaca group. This uh, GitHub group contains all Alpaca related projects, documentation, examples, the slides from today. And we are always open to new contributors. So if you decide that you like Alpaca and that you would like to help us improve Alpaca even further, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. The library itself is a sub-project of our Alpaca group. There you can find the full source code of the library, our issue tracker, installation instructions, and also some small examples. If you're on mobile, you can also just photograph the QR code here on the right, which will also take you directly to our software repository. If you should use Alpaca for your research, we would be very happy if you could cite one of the publications listed here. The first two publications are peer-reviewed articles that have appeared in uh, journals. The last publication is the master's thesis in which Alpaca was originally conceived. That's it for the first of six parts today.